Not all team names are created equal. 69,000 fans are here tonight for their new team, the Texans. There's a lot of pressure for a professional sports team to choose the right nickname. Texans became the sixth football team to use the name. Owner Bob McNair choosing it over Apollos and Stallions. Let's dive into our rankings for all 32 NFL team names. Starting from worst to first. Number 32, Texans. The name Texans sounds cool and all, but how unoriginal can you be? Did Pittsburgh or Philly go with the team name Pennsylvanians, or did San Francisco choose the Californians as their name? No. Everyone already knows where Houston is. We don't need a reminder that you play in the state of Texas. Number 31, Brown. Cleveland named its NFL team after Paul Brown, the franchise's co-founder and first head coach. We get it. It's a nice tribute and all, but, like, there's nothing creative with this team name. It's so boring. And their logo is that of an orange helmet. Number 30, Commanders. This one may take a while to grow on us, but it at least beats the name Washington football team, I guess. Washington could have chosen a better name like the Admirals, Red Wolves, or Defenders. Oh well, at least they ditched the old nickname, which was long, long overdue. Number 29, Colts. The Colts was a fine team name when the organization was located in Baltimore. The name paid homage to the city's well-documented history of horse breeding and horse racing. So hey, it made perfect sense. Robert Ursay didn't bother to change the team name though when he relocated the franchise to Indianapolis. Now, it's not the worst name, but they certainly lose points for not changing it to something more Indianapolis appropriate when they had the chance. Number 28, Jets. The Jets spent two decades playing at Shea Stadium, which was located near LaGuardia Airport. I like to wait at LaGuardia, lots of good lays at LaGuardia. And that's largely how they came up with the name Jets. But, uh, I feel like they could have done a little better. Maybe it was kind of a cool name at the time, but not anymore. Number 27, Dolphins. Miami held a voting contest to choose the name of its football team, and Dolphins was the lucky winner. Now, we don't exactly hate this name, and the success of the franchise under Don Shula has made the name a little more iconic. But a more intimidating name like, I don't know, the Sharks would have sufficed here. Dolphins are just too gentle, adorable, and friendly towards humans. And in football, you're trying to be menacing, intimidating, and physical. Number 26, Giants. For some reason, it was kind of common for NFL franchises to steal their name from a baseball team that played in their city, which was exactly the case here. The San Francisco Giants were initially based in New York, and after the NFL's Giants were founded, they went by the name the New York Football Giants. At least I won't be unoriginal. Number 25, Jaguars. Jaguars brings nice alliteration to Jacksonville, but there are enough sports teams named after a big cat. Plus, you know, it's uh, not like the state of Florida is renowned for their high Jaguar population. Number 24, Panthers. Florida's NHL team is named the Panthers. The NCAA's University of Pittsburgh and Florida International University are also named the Panthers. So I think it's safe to say that this team name is uh, oh, a little overused at this point. We will say this though, the logo is really awesome and the color schemes have always rocked. But in terms of the actual team name, yeah, nothing overly exciting. Number 23, Bengals. The aforementioned Paul Brown also founded Ohio's other NFL franchise, the Cincinnati Bengals. It's been said that he chose the team name to honor the old Cincinnati Bengals franchise of the American Football League. Nice idea and all, but it's really the sound of the name Bengal more than anything else. I mean, why not just go with Tigers in general? What is it specifically about the Bengal Tiger that makes it more of an appealing name? Number 22, Falcons. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't an awful name by any means. The Falcons have done a wonderful job of incorporating the logo and color schemes into their uniforms. It's just nothing overly fancy. So I guess, you know, when in doubt, name your team after a bird. Now that said, the story behind how they got the name is pretty cool. Julia Elliott, a school teacher in Griffin, Georgia, suggested Falcons because the Falcon is proud and dignified with great courage and fight. It never drops its prey, it is deadly, and has a great sporting tradition. And you know what? I can't disagree with that. 
Number 21. Titans. The Titans were previously based in Houston, where they used the team name Oilers. The Oilers name was retained for two seasons following relocation before owner Bud Adams and company settled on Titans for the 1999 season. Tennessee Titans is a savvy alliteration, and it is an intimidating name and an ultra-violent and physical sport. Way better than Tennessee's other pro sports team, the Memphis Grizzlies. You know, seeing as how there are no Grizzlies in Memphis. Number 20. Cardinals. The name Cardinals has been assigned to the organization for over 100 years, dating back to its days in Racine and Chicago. The franchise relocated to St. Louis in 1960 and retained the name Cardinals even though the St. Louis MLB franchise already owned the name. Gotta respect the history of a team name that's over 100 years old. This organization named itself after a bird long before all these other sports teams did it. And you know what? Arizona Cardinals just has a nice ring to it. Number 19. Seahawks is there a better sounding team name in professional sports? The name Seahawks took the cake in a public voting contest after Seattle was granted an NFL franchise. And is it any wonder why? Solid choice by the fans. By the way, it's not an imaginary creature. Seahawk is another name for osprey birds. Number 18. Lions George Richards bought the Portsmouth Spartans and relocated them to Detroit, switching the name to Lions along the way. Richards liked the idea of Lions complementing the Detroit Tigers MLB team. Lions are called the King of the Jungle, and Richards wanted the Lions to be the Kings of the NFL. And again, historic names that last nearly a full century will always win some bonus points with us. Number 17. Bills. If alliteration is your thing, how can you not like Buffalo Bills? The current NFL franchise actually took the name from the previous Buffalo Bills football team that played in the All-America Football Conference. The team also pays homage to Buffalo Bill Cody, a showman and iconic figure in the American frontier. Number 16. Rams. We just love this name and logo for a football team. You're always trying to ram through your opponents in the NFL, whether you're a ball carrier, an offensive lineman, or a defensive player. The Rams franchise is home to so many legendary running backs, including Eric Dickerson, Steven Jackson, Marshall Falk, and Lawrence McCutcheon. Those guys knew how to ram their way through tacklers, all right. Number 15. Buccaneers. The term Buccaneer sounds super cool. We're talking Keanu Reeves kind of cool. And the Pirates team name was already occupied by Pittsburgh's MLB team, so Tampa Bay went ahead and chose Buccaneers. It simply refers to the Pirates who frequented Florida's western coast in the 18th and 19th century. And hey, bonus points for the abbreviated Bucks nickname. Number 14, Chargers. The Chargers have it all. Some of the absolute best uniforms, color schemes, and logos. And it all wouldn't be possible without a savvy team name like the Chargers. Makes perfect sense in the game of football, too. There's so many ways to look at it. You're always charging at your opponents. You're trying to make electric plays. And the name Bolts as a short form only increases our love for this name. Number 13, Bears. This one really doesn't need much explanation. The Bears are one of America's oldest and most storied franchises. It's impossible to know where the NFL would be today if not for franchise founder George Hallis. The Bears have made minimal changes to their jerseys throughout their decades-long history, such as life when you have a highly recognizable logo and team name that is synonymous with the great city of Chicago. Number 12, Patriots. What can we say? It's just the perfect team name for a team based in Massachusetts. The team name of Patriots is a reference to those in the 13 colonies who pushed back against the British in the American Revolution. I mean, America is certainly known for its patriotism. It's only fitting that one of the country's most successful and beloved sports teams carries the Patriots nickname too. Number 11. 49ers The 49ers name pays homage to the 1849 California Gold Rush, which brought around 300,000 people to California to search for gold. Thanks to the 49ers dynasty that produced five Super Bowls, this name became one of the most iconic in the pro sports world. Like it or not, when you're a winning organization, your name has a way of growing on people that much quicker. Number 10. Ravens. Art Modell relocated the Cleveland Browns to Baltimore in 1996, and the team name was switched to Ravens. It was a play on Edgar Allan Poe's poem, The Raven. You see, Poe died in Baltimore at the age of 40 in 1849, and he's buried at Baltimore's Westminster Hall. That's a pretty awesome way to honor your city's history if you ask us. And besides, the Raven is one cool bird. Plus, it really makes that awesome black and purple color scheme work. Number 9. Vikings The Minnesota region became home to many folks from Scandinavia, hence the team name Vikings. The Vikings are proud owners of one of the football's best logos, and Vikings just fits so well for a football team. This is one of those names that will just never go away, and might I say, with good reason. Number 8. 
Chiefs. The franchise was initially based in Dallas, where they went by the name The Texans. But when the franchise was relocated to KC in 1963, the decision was made to rename the football team to The Chiefs. This is because then Kansas City Mayor Harold Rowe Bartle was nicknamed The Chief. Some may call it controversial, but we just see it as a cool way to honor one of the city's icons. Number 7. Broncos a contest was held for the name of Denver's new football franchise, and Broncos was the winning entry. It's just a really cool sounding name with a bit of an aggressive twist to your typical horse. Number 6. Cowboys No NFL team name or logo is more globally known than that of the Dallas Cowboys. It is just the ideal team name for a city like Dallas that we synonymize with the American West. Number 5. Eagles Burt Bell and Lud Ray founded the Eagles franchise in 1933. Their logo was inspired by Franklin D. Roosevelt's National Recovery Administration, which featured a blue eagle on the poster. They opted to name the team Eagles, and it's stuck with the franchise ever since. The logo has always been one of the best, and it gets extra points because of the hidden message in it. Number 4. Saints The city of New Orleans has a large Roman Catholic population. Fittingly, the team was born on November 1st, 1966, which is All Saints Day, a holiday which is celebrated in Christianity. New Orleans is also renowned for its beautiful jazz, and one of the most recognized songs in that genre just so happens to be When the Saints Go Marching In. You'd have to think that song helped inspire the name of New Orleans football team. Number 3. Packers the Green Bay NFL team was founded by Curly Lambeau and George Whitney Calhoun. The story goes that Lambeau's girlfriend, Agnes Alley Ward, advised him to simply call the new team the Packers. The team Packers stems from the Indian Package Company. Hey, the Packers are only the most accomplished and successful sports team ever. Where would the NFL, especially the Super Bowl, be without Lambeau, Vince Lombardi, Bart Starr, Don Hudson, and all the other legends who built the Packers empire? This will always be one of the best sports team names ever. Number 2. Raiders. This franchise was actually going to be named The Seniors, but public backlash and timeless jokes prompted the higher-ups to change the name to Raiders, which is good because it is hard to beat the Raiders name. John Madden turned the Raiders into one of America's prominent sports franchises, and the name Raiders just had a nice tie-in to the game of football. The Raiders haven't changed up their uniforms or logos too much throughout their history, and you know what? Rightfully so. When you have a special team name like this, why change anything? Number 1. Steelers Pittsburgh is known as Steel City, so that's basically all you really need to know. Before the name was changed to Steelers, the football team shared the name Pirates with the city's MLB franchise. Art Rooney made the decision to swap out Pirates for Steelers, and the rest is history. The Steelers logo is also based off of the Steelmark logo that was used by the American Iron and Steel Institute. Pittsburgh's long winning history, highlighted by four Super Bowl championships in the Steel Curtain era, added more history and importance to this name, which to us is the best in the end. Higher NFL. But which NFL team name do you think is the best? And which one do you think is the worst? Join us in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.